So this video is just to explain how to um, follow the rules of bearings, um, which come up quite often whenever you're doing questions involving trigonometry at National 5. So we've got an example here. Um, a ship sails from a harbour directly for 12 kilometres, then changes course, um, and we have to draw a sketch to show this journey. So to draw a sketch of the journey, we need to pick a starting point for the boat to be at. So you can pick anywhere at your page, but if you imagine roughly how you're going to draw it, um, this is going to go east first, so I'm going to pick a point over here to be the starting point. And it's called a harbour in the question, so I'm just going to call it H. And we're told that the ship then goes directly east for 12 kilometres to a point A. So um, we always assume that straight up the page is north. So that's north. Uh, so that means that directly east then will be... Um, 90 degrees from that, so straight across like that. And um, we're just estimating, we're just drawing a sketch, so we don't need to measure anything and we're not doing this to scale. So we would just say, right, okay, so say roughly that's about where A is going to be, and we know that the distance between H and A is 12 kilometres, so put that information on. And we know that that was directly east, so and that's a right angle there. Then it changes course and sails for 7 kilometres on a bearing of 0, 4, 2 degrees to a point B. So now that we're at A, we have to draw in the north line for A because every time we're looking at a bearing, we're working out um, the, be the bearing clockwise from north. So 42 degrees, so we're going to go clockwise from the north line for 42 degrees. Again, we're not going to measure it with a protractor because this isn't a diagram we're doing, this is just a rough sketch. 42 we know um, is less than 45, and 45 is sort of a diagonal line halfway between 0 and 90. So 42 I'm just going to estimate um, is going to be about there. And I'll just do it a little bit shorter because this one's only 7 kilometres. And that's to a point called B. And that means that this angle in here was the angle that we estimated to be 42 degrees clockwise from the north line. Um, what usually happens with these questions is um, you then get somehow to make this diagram into a triangle so maybe for example they might um, the ship might be at B and they might say what's, how does the, what bearing does the ship go on to get back to H in which case you would draw a line from B going across to H and that would make a, a triangle and then use your trigonometry rules the other thing that's useful to know about bearings is because all of the north lines go straight up the page, they're all parallel to each other. And when we're using parallel lines, we're allowed to use the rules for angles between parallel lines, which you do um, way back in first and second year, and that's um, the angles for Fs and Zs. So if you can spot a Z shape, and I'm going to do the Z on its side here, because more often than not in bearings it is on its side, a Z like that, this angle in here and this angle in here have to be the same as each other. And if you have an F shape, an F on its side might be like this, then this angle in here and this angle in here have to be the same as each other. So it's worth just bearing those in mind. Um, what can also be quite useful with bearings questions is the um, extending the north lines so that you can spot these Fs and Zs. So for example, this north line goes right down here like this, this down like this. What you can see is that there's actually um, a Z shape going like this between those two north lines. So that can be quite useful because if you know if that's 42 in there, then in here would have to be 42 as well. And that can help you if you have to work out um, bearings back the way. For example, if we were trying to work out the bearing to go from B back to A, we would want to measure from the north line clockwise right the way around to where the A path is. So that would be that whole angle. But from that Z shape, you would know that in here is 42, and this is obviously 180. So the bearing back the way would just be 42 plus 180, which is 222 degrees. So sometimes it can be useful to look for those shapes whenever you're doing bearings questions. The main things to remember are you always um, draw the north line in. Uh, you don't have to measure them with protractors or rulers and uh, you always measure the bearing in a clockwise direction from the north line.